Oh. Where's my controller? Okay. Shit. Don't walk into anything. Hi. Um, shit. Ah. I see we're starting. Uh, I got this backwards. Hi. Huh. Hi. Welcome to virtual reality, or VR. I am the virtual reality what assistance the and fuck? education course. I shall be your guide for the next few minutes to show you how everything works. Is he gonna be okay? Let's get started. Have a look around you. The border in which you're standing is called the play area. The boundaries of your play area were defined during setup, and VR experiences will take place within them. With that out of the way, I'd like to introduce you to your chaperone bounds. Walk toward me. Uh, slowly, please. And stop. Good. The colored fence around you represents your chaperone bounds. They will appear whenever you or your controllers approach the edge of your physical space and will help you to avoid bumping into objects in the real world. Let's do it one more time. I'll just move over to the other side. I just love the fact that I, I put these on and I couldn't see what I was doing. Like, they clip through each other? A little bit. Just a little bit. Like, I'm just moving these around my hands and I don't register that that's weird. And that's really cool. Yeah, these hit each other a little sooner and these, hit, these clip a little bit. But like, I just, I panicked because this just fucking started and I wasn't ready. I'm thankfully recording. Hopefully it doesn't crash. I've crashed OBS once already, but here we are. Hello. I got a valve index. Hi, everybody. We're currently in what looks like Aperture Labs. I mean, there's a fucking core behind me. There's a lamp over there, apparently. Setting up your play area is funny because you just, you walk around and you pull the trigger and you like trace it around in real life not wearing the headset and like your display is tracking you walking around your room and this is fucking weird like this is this feels right this feels normal does it show me pressing the button oh my god <laughs> okay it's kind of hard to explain how weirdly exciting this is, the fact that I'm here in person and pressing these things and I'm seeing it like one-to-one-ish. And it's kind of creeping me out actually, but it's really neat. There's that weird uncanny effect of them going through each other. Listen, it's VR. I'm, I'm still going to be me. So this is, of course, what's going to happen is I'm going to ignore this guy for like half an hour. Where am I in my room right now? Oh, that's... My bed is over here. This is like the edge of my closet, so the door is over there. It's really fucking weird because I'm blindfolded, basically, so I don't see reality. But I can still feel it, if I'm not careful. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, you might be noticing an effect. So... It's not always necessarily clear, but like... Around here, on the left side of the screen-ish, there's a blurry gradient. And that's because I am cross-mixing my left and right eyes into one video. I, this took a lot of setup. Uh, before I even got- I was very patient and did all this for you guys before I even did any actual recording of stuff. But normally, people often show you a left eye or a right eye. Hello. They often show like the left eye or the right eye, but that means that if I'm aiming a gun, like this, it would be over here if it's the right eye, and over here if it's the left eye, but it's supposed to be the middle of my view. And so I didn't want to have this leaning to one side view the entire time. I wanted to make it look centered and correct. And so I took the two eyes, and I made a gradient of opacity so it fades from one eye to the other, and it happens like sort of on this like one third of the way across to like towards the left side of the screen. And so you'll notice some effects there. You can only calibrate it to perfectly line up. 
based on a certain distance. So if I pick something five feet away and line up the two sides perfectly, then stuff closer or further from that will be blurry. And so I don't love that, but it's better than having the entire screen distractingly be over here the whole time. And if you're not looking straight at it, you won't even notice it. But like if I look at the subtitle here, you guys are probably seeing something unless, the, unless it totally lines up. Like certain text might get blurry at sometimes. And that's not ideal, but it's what we're going to live with. Anyway, it's my long-ass intro. I'm a little distracted by the fact that I can feel cables below me. Great. I think you've got the hang of it. Lastly, step back toward the center of your play area, just until the chaperone bounds disappear. Perfect. Now, have a look at the controllers you're holding. Go ahead, move them around. Wave them in front of your face. Got all stupid punchy and took my headphones out. To your movements. Yep, yep, yep. We're, we're right away to you there. Track your individual fingers. Here, have some virtual hands. Ah! <laughs> your fingers around. You'll see that motion reflected in VR. Well, that's fucking we creepy. Also take your controllers away completely for greater immersion. Some games may do this while others won't. It's all a matter of preference. We'll bring back your controllers now, as there's still a bit more to show you. The finger tracking is less accurate. Each <laughs> it looks weird. Buttons. On the underside of the controller oh. is a trigger button. Give that a squeeze. Oh my! <laughs> Let's just turn that off for the moment. Next, notice the grip <laughs> embedded within the <laughs> Chill. Squeeze. That was act. That was. Oh. Ah. The capsule shape on the top surface is called the trackpad. It should be under your thumb. Slide your thumb around the trackpad. Notice that it shows you where you are touching the pad. The trackpad is also a button. Press in on the trackpad now. Huh? I wonder where that was hiding. Find the thumbstick and move it around. Notice that it shows you which direction that you are tilting the stick. The thumbstick is also a button. Press in on the thumbstick now. Oop. You'll notice a few letter buttons on either Oop. controller. I hit Press something. <laughs> a button for me. Well, oh, this is turning into quite a party. Now, press the B button. Stop trying to escape me. No. I'm bumping into things because I'm trying to hard to re catch them. Uh. Oop. Now, no, come back. And press come back. Oh, okay. <laughs> summon the Steam VR dashboard. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, this thing. The depression one? Oop. Hello? Here it is. The Steam VR dashboard. Note that most VR experiences will pause while the dashboard is on screen. You can use the trigger to select items on the dashboard. And the dashboard can be closed by pressing the system button again. Well, I believe that's everything you need to know. Now, I need to practice for my next lecture. The unabridged history of discrepancy filing methods. Oh! I just need to fetch my notes. There's still a chair here. I've uh -oh. fucked up. My battery is dead. Oh. Nope. But, uh... uh are we okay? This, this guy's about to run me, run me over, isn't he? No, we're good. <laughs> oh, hello. There's one of my way stations. And there's one of my way uh, I'm facing that direction? So my computer's over here. Yeah. Got all confused here. You quickly lose track of where you are completely. 
Where's that computer? Yeah, there's a chair here. There it is. It's like the handle. This is the armrest. You are a little too much in my play area. Hello. <laughs> so this is just a fuck around video. The opening experience of being in VR. I've got the display cage up so I don't fucking murder myself right now. Probably gonna keep it up in general, because... Yeah, there's that. So here's where you're probably more likely to notice the issue with the gradient over there. I'm pointing it out, but if I didn't point it out, people might have not just never noticed it. Which probably would have been better. Uh, oop, here we go. Marty's playing a game. Some other people are alive. Hello, Effie. Bumpy McSquiggums. How do I scroll? You hold down on the D-pad, and then in a, in a, that's a grab. Alright. Got some games. I think it's getting... F is it getting foggy in here? Things are look looking a little blurry all of a sudden. This is a little hot. We're in a room. New environments inspired by Half-Life Alex. Yeah, there. Wow, that, that really does feel like it's real. It's got like a really solid texture to it. There's some good texture work there where it looks like a physical object. It's kind of freaking me out because I actually do kind of feel like I could reach out and touch it. Huh. Like that is a video game world right there. I look at that and I'm like, okay, it's not quite, the trees are never going to look quite right. Not now, but this shit successfully looks like an artificial item that's in front of me. Like that floor is a fucking video game texture, you can't trick me, but that, these items on the shelf I'm kind of falling for, honestly. I know YouTube won't, YouTube won't fully get this, I guess, because like there's still the, ah, I didn't mean to grab it. <laughs> that was an accident. Uh, can I, okay, that, it's, it's me, it's me touching the grip, that's what did it. <laughs> didn't mean to do that. I don't like you. Let's get the fuck out of here. You stay the fuck out of my house. Stay the fuck out. How do, how do I make a... You stay the fuck out of my house. But you, I'm so sorry. But yeah, there's all these weird micro textures to it where it looks... It just looks like real plastic. It's kind of fucking with me. Whereas that is a video game ass piece of wood. This this wood looks super fake. <laughs> but I, you know, I'm not I'm not really that surprised. It's a, it's you know, it's a lot of environment to render. I'm not surprised by the stuff that doesn't look completely real. I'm just really shocked when there's a couple of things that do feel real. So far, I'm not motion sick or have a headache or anything, which is good. I've never used VR, this is my first time. Uh, this is a new experience. And this could have been... Could have been bad if I got all this and then found out that I'm somebody that's like cripplingly motion sick while playing VR, but I've never had motion sickness in, in, in any other context, so why would I start now? But some people have said that they suddenly had motion sickness here when they didn't have it before. That's like... I actually really like that. Can I have that? Can I, can I have that? I shouldn't reach past the boundary, that's dangerous. I should not stand in the middle of the boundary for starters. I can take or leave the other ones, but I kind of want that one, like, for real. <laughs> Give. That one. Hey there. There you go. Get off my shelf, creepy doll. Where'd he land? Oop! So that's a fucking chair. Still a fucking chair there. I don't have a completely cleared area. I mean, this is a pretty good open space, considering I'm literally in my bedroom right now. Butterflies. Hey. Yeah? Okay, that didn't quite work out, <laughs> but the detail's there.
This is either the most interesting or most boring video I've ever made. That's a, wait, where is that? There you are. Why did I imagine a seagull? I figured it was a seagull and it's a, it's like a crow. Now I can be startled in all new with this fucking chair. I need to get rid of this chair right after I remember what direction that even is in my room because I don't remember which way I'm facing if I'm being honest. It's funny how blinded you get, right? Like, <laughs> I mean, I'm wearing a blindfold. It's just a really expensive one. Hello. So here, some stuff you might look forward to. Some set up VR stuff that I've had backlogged a bit. And now I actually get to play this stuff. You get to hold, yeah, you hold down to scroll. And lab, room VR, that's a priority. The invisible hours. These two, I've never gotten the chance to play them. I've just seen them floating around and they seem kind of neat and I couldn't. Obviously Half-Life Alex, the, the, uh, the VR part of Prey. I can go back to Prey and do that. Fuck you, no, not that one. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's gonna be creepy. But also I really wanna know what that looks like. I wanna know what that looks like. But first, oh, first of all, what's in my library here? Okay, I got a little started about how close that was. Puppies, the boy in the window. Oh, the puppies are mystery. It's easier if I look. Deep thoughts by unqualified hacks. I'm a cow, and other reasons you might not like me. <laughs> Sad guy, being a teenager is hard. A crazy egg, another story. What was that? Whoa. Oh, this is this does something. This isn't just cosmetic, hello. Hey. Nope. I don't know, I don't think I can spin it. Can I, oh, I can pick up? My room passes the bookshelf test. Can I drop you? All right, so I click grip. So I, this is now my hand until I drop it, okay. The crazy egg and other stories. It passes the, these are, like this is a proper, it's only like six books, but still. It passes the bookshelf test, no repeating books. And in this case, they're even all individual models. So that's nice. It's getting a little blurry. I don't know if my headset's wandering off my head a little bit or if it's getting, it feels like it's getting a little like sweaty, foggy in here, which is not great. Whoa. Oh. How do I select one? Do I... I know I'm late to VR, so this is probably like really stupid to some people. Okay, so you click stick to set one in. But I haven't spoiled myself on VR, so I actually didn't know what to expect at all. So I'm just walking into this stuff and being like, what the hell? Can I grab you? My, my design? And just eat it? Nope. <sighs> no, I cannot eat it. But I can, like, put it up there. Like, it's lights. I can rotate it into a better direction that looks less stupid. <clears throat> what? Not gonna lie, I could spend a, lot, a while fucking around with this. Let's see here. Let's do a deep purple, like a magenta. That's not great. Uh, ignore that. Okay. How well can we draw? Also, oh, this is us testing the uh, microphone. This is a built-in microphone, and hopefully it's a good replacement for... Okay, my left hand still teleports. Hopefully it's a good replacement for uh, the normal microphone I have, because I'm not sitting at a desk. So, <laughs> I'm hoping that's good. Come on, let's do this. Ha. 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 That one's too big. Ah. I think it'd be easier for me to draw. 
a fucking hexagon by now. These lines are all going to be fucked up once I see them from a different angle, aren't they? Not going to lie, I just reflexively felt like I was going to hit my head because I was under this thing. Oh, i got to let go of my hand. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh no. The meme is sad. Did not pan out. Just put you down there. There you go. Bye bye. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the screen. Have you crashed yet? No, it looks like we're recording successfully. Okay. So I just successfully did a test. Well, I just tested to see how things are going right now. I want to see how the video looks, and it looks all right. I'm noticing that the calibration isn't where I'd love it to be, though. Yeah, it's pretty. There, there's the blur. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at my computer screen right, right now, so my goggles are up. That's why we're looking up in the air right now. So here's how I fix this. Zoop. Zoop. It's like that's how I can kind of fix that up. I don't know. It's not perfect. So here's my hand looking more or less normal, but now the room looks weirder. I don't know. I wish I had a solution for this. Like, there's the room looking normal-ish. Then once you get further away, those trees look weirder, and my left hand tends to look weird from this perspective. Kind of distracting. Hmm. I'll have to make up my mind of whether I prefer this or one eye. Because here's, uh... I'll turn off. Here's what it looks like. Left eye. So that's left eye turned off. Here's what right eye looks like. So it just fades out. That's my approach right now. That's what I've been trying to do here. I might come up with new things. New gradients, maybe, that try to fix it. We're, we're learning. Learning learning curve here. But like the issue with being one eye is that everything's kind of off-center. Just because it's your, if the, this is us looking only through the left eye. And so that means we... You, you, if I, if, if, if everything will just be looking slightly to the left. Everything will be leaning all the time because you're getting one eye view of my experience. But maybe that'll be less distracting than this. I don't know. So big disappointment. I have to wear glasses still. Now, come. This is. I know some people already know this, but shit. But I. It, it's right in front of my face. My eyes are right here. I am nearsighted, so I can read stuff that's right in front of me. And like, if I don't have my glasses on, I can like go up close to a screen in order to be able to read it. But that doesn't work here. Uh, apparently, the brain works in weird ways, and uh, <laughs> part of how the brain works apparently is that because it because it's being interpreted as being far away, it functionally is far away. So I still have to wear glasses while playing VR. And that is frustrating. We'll see if I can come up, if I can find a solution to that. I don't know. Glasses aren't super comfortable to wear. I'm also getting blurriness here and there that I can I, because I have to wear glasses. I can't 100% tell which parts of the blurriness are the uh, what's this something in real life. <laughs> I can't tell uh, which part of the blurriness is the VR not being like set up correctly on my head, and which part is my glasses getting blurriness or smudginess. I have two sets of lenses to clean. So I don't, don't love that part, but the shit's neat. Okay, so let's be a fucking nerd, all right? Uh, okay. This works, doesn't it? <laughs> do, they, do they interact? No. You can. <laughs> uh, this is what I paid money for. This is apparently what I'm going to do with that. I'm a little sad that there's no physics. It just kind of freezes in place like art. But at the same time, the fact that you can just kind of do that means you can just make some really neat visuals here. Which I kind of I kind of dig this actually, 
And I'm sure that there's a bunch of YouTube channels dedicated to like making some truly insane shit with this stuff. And I'm really curious, I'm curious about that now. Okay, I'm getting a little tangled up with the cord. Maybe I can get it like a mounted situation, except I have a ceiling fan, so that's not really gonna work. Let's see. So I dropped you if I, if I click the grip, it said. Go away. I said, go away. Oh. There we go. Can I change my background? Can I take this off? <laughs> this is a unique problem to have, but I don't... don't know how to put you down. Help, it's stuck on my hand. Somebody help me. No background. What do you mean no background? This is a background. Is that background? Use the original skybox on this map. Wait, is the background the skybox? I can change the entire sky out? Sky painting demo, the Keanu. You fucking meme lords. Everyone got bored of Chuck Norris, now they're obsessed with Keanu. Dude, you could just be on Mars? It's a cool location. Is there a search button that everything should always have? Top rated recent. That's a dangerous search. You want to be in that guy's house? Just look at that guy around all the time? Oh, what a fun time. Why, why isn't there a search function though? Uh, let's see. Subscribe? Let's try this one out. Oh. How do I get rid of you? It said click something. Click grip. What does that mean? Can't get you... I can't quit you! Okay. What were those? These are like specific locations? What do they, what do they mean? The gar oh! A little interaction with this location. Is that a wolf? I think it is. So they, they meant literally the sky is a painting now. And that looks like a wolf, like, really obviously. Uh, it's hard to click the stick while you're also pointing in a direction with the stick. Yeah, it's a wolf. I have to close one of my eyes, just like in real life, in order to line it up right, because I'm drawing too close to myself, and I have both eyes open, the 3D fucks up. Which is funny. I don't really see anything else in these shapes. This is my masterpiece. I have to live right here. Nah, no, it's actually, you need, the, you need the contrast, or you can't see what it's supposed to be. But, but also, like, the parts of it... Parts of it like stand out because of the 3D drawing. This is the weirdest. All right, let's go back. That's like the real looking sky. Can I point at this and look? Did I, did I make it? Ah, oh. did it away from me to look away? Or is it loading? Oh. No, it's, it's, okay. Yeah. It was B, oh. What are those? Is this different? Hi. Hi. Um, what am I doing? What is that? What? What is that? Look, hi. No, no. Ca oh, it's a geocacher, I think. Freeze ray. But can I freeze wildlife? Is that the point? Clone. 
Uh, delete. Bye bye. Ah, I should put these things on my left hand because, or eh, I don't know. Oh, not in thought anymore. Freeze. No. So let's delete. Hey, there you go. I kind of like the floating sword, honestly, with the hex around it. <laughs> Just a shitty wolf drawing hanging out in the distance now. That's what we've done. Oh, I could have used this to get rid of the army man thing, I guess. Okay, so at least my hand's not full anymore. You just press B to get rid of it, and then A to do this, or I don't know if it's B or A, I can't see them. So, preview avatar. Okay, so, there's triggers. So it assumes that the touchpad under the triggers is these three fingers. So if I change my grip at all, it gets weird, but also it doesn't always... Yeah. It doesn't... F yeah, it's not sure. It doesn't always register all of my fingers separately. I feel like my pinky moves weird in real life, so it's probably I'm fucking with their perspective. It doesn't think I'm pressing all the way down with my finger. There you go. It's easier. So here, it's my head. Clip through it a little bit. Okay. So... It... Eh. I can make myself look different. Let's get outside. Hi. Get some light on you. There you go. He's in the light. Yeah. This cable. Change hands. There we go. That, I kind of prefer this. The fingers look weird. The hand, oh. But they're not moving anymore. Like these ones move. These ones don't move. They just... Slap! Alright. Can I change it? I bet there's more you can get online, too. Yeah, because there's, there's up and down arrows. What about my head? Ugh. Okay, no. It's just what I look like. <laughs> I don't know why that one's really funny. No, not... Scroll, click. Well, this one just looks sad. There's Andrew. Perfect. These ones are rude. <laughs> Some of the robots are really fucking cute, actually. <laughs> but the fact that it's looking at me makes me strangely terrified. Uh... Bzzzp. Trying to get fine-tuned without your hand trembling as an experience. Uh, sorry about the seizures I just gave you. I guess if I just get really close, then you could get a lot more fine-tuned. How weird is that? Like, I have a problem, and my solution is to just fucking move in real life, basically. And then these can be changed colors. Not nearly as much, though, right? That's maximum brightness. Is it? Oh, it looks like it's made of wood. That's actually nice looking. You can see me shrug. Accessorize. Shades. You right there? Oh. That fucking startled me. Got stuck. Hey, buddy. Nope. <laughs> Does it line up how I lined them up? Yes. I can be like, hey, baby. <laughs> and then I can take these other ones. <sighs> Caught him. Double sunglasses. There you go. Oop. Gotta remember not to drop them. There's a the heart there. 
I can like make a body. He's got like a little floating. <laughs> uh, and then a monocle, obviously. Hey, that's uh, uh, Alice's hat from a thingamajig. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba uh, Left 4 Dead 2? Furniture. You don't put that on your body. <laughs> Driftwood Iron Giant Toy. Oh, hey, buddy. What are you doing in this game? Huh. Shoop! That was rude, but I'm not, I don't mean that. Oh... Oh, it's because they put Iron Giant in the Ready Player One movie, huh? You're, that book is trash. I haven't seen the movie, but it, can now, it can't be that much better because the book is such trash. There you go. Just put that as your whole body. As your whole body. I want to be a companion cube. It's been my dream. All right, well... At least you can have companion cubes, like... <laughs> I mean, I appreciate it. Oh my god, okay. Ah, sorry. Forgot about, you know, the basic part of how you... Oh! Click rotating. Uh, how do I... Forward, there we go. I need to really need to take a step back. There we go. Now he's my companion cube dog. This is very stupid, but there he is. I really should have picked a different color than black. <laughs> should also give him an eye. I don't have the thing right now. Okay, can I make? I mean, honestly, this is perfect. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Uh, maybe do with that without the glasses. And pull two things at the same time. Bye. He's kind of perfect, honestly. Like, that's pretty great. I don't know what I would change about that. Uh, just for my own sanity. I'm way too close to a physical object right now. I don't throw very well. Frisbee! Oh, that works way better. That works way better! Oh, look at it spin! Look at it fucking go! That was not good. Yeah! I gotta, like, develop a technique for throwing Ernest Klein into oblivion. Goodbye! That's not the direction I was trying to go that way. Yeah! Go fuck yourself. That's my idea of storytelling. I just write a list of pop culture references for, like, three pages. <sighs> as far as Game Crumbs jo jokes go, that'd be like... The part where they talked about the 80s for a long time. <sighs> there, I've replaced my soldier with a pacifist. Better, much better. You live here now. Stand straight, though, please. There you go, buddy. This is an upgrade. Can I make you bigger? Is that a thing? That's. Uh, oh, that's me. <laughs> That's me, I'm still doing this. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's moving now. Hey. It's me, your VR host. I kind of... <laughs> his whole body moves with my head, which is kind of weird, but... I can talk to you guys directly now, except for the fact that these are still here, so it's like a weird interaction. But if I ever have a single real friend in VR, they'll get to meet this guy. Which I might just keep, because, I mean, I love him. Don't you love him? I love him. That's, that's, where, it, that's where it was. Book. The Crazy Egg. How many books are there? Just a, just a column. I like that you can, you can have closed cabinets and then be like, Oh, yes, this is my cabinet. I like the... Whoa! Look! Okay, that startled me a little bit because I thought I was in danger because a cabinet was falling near me and my feet felt endangered as feet do it's actually weightless though how do i open it <laughs> i 
I only know how to grab it, which is not the same thing as opening it. There's something on my, by my foot here. There we go. Did I make something else I didn't want anymore? I forget. Okay, hello. Ah! Ah, oh, he is the Iron Giant now. This was such a good movie. Okay. I heard something in real life and that startled me. But I believe my door is closed so they can't, the demons can't reach me. Okay, you're gonna have to sit in the corner because, okay. Hitting physical objects. You have to sit in the corner because you don't stand up so hot. Okay, let's uh, back up a little bit. I guess this would be easier if I didn't have this menu here still. But, uh, you know, I handle my problems my own way. There we go. I mean, I like it. That's nice. <laughs> I assume this stuff stays, right? They probably want us to customize our areas. It's going to probably keep the stuff the way it is. I could have an even bigger companion cube. Okay, so what else what else we got? Hey! Nope. This, I'm concerned that my habit of spinning in place is going to slowly make this cable more and more, like, coily. And then it's going to become a problem and trap me. Or trip me, not trap me. Those are different words. What do we got here? It's a lot of furniture. There's some of the, the, the pictures and stuff. Hmm. But I can't go there because it's too close to the, the bench. Can I just... Oh. Such power. <laughs> oh, it just floats freely. Yeah, that's not weird at all. Okay. That's as big as you get, and now you're never going to be centered again. There. And the ones I don't like, I can just delete. I almost deleted myself. I'm so sorry. You alright? Peace. I forgot that these. Are, I forgot that the color of this is that is amazing. Like they look really good. Do you not even have to stick to a wall? No. Oh, that's gonna drive me crazy as I try to like get this back to being good. Oh, that's good. It stops. It won't clip through the wall. So that helps me line it up with the wall at least. Oh, that gloss. That helps add to the illusion that it's actually really here. That reflectiveness. That is a trip. Okay, back to this list of things, I guess. No. Heh. <sighs> there must... Ah, I gotcha. That must be what freezes, right? That must make it so that things stay there or don't stay there gotcha that's why you don't fall but you do so if i do eh. you won't fall over now <laughs> i didn't really know what this episode was going to be and i definitely didn't think it was going to be this this is a trip okay i need to stop conjuring things that i don't want to have exist or, I just need to... Oh, glitch. Oh, they both are the whatever my right hand says, but I can make the other one a different one. There. Now whenever I fuck up, I can just do that. I keep doing it. I'm a cow, and other reasons you shouldn't like me. Yeah. What, what do they have against cows? What's the deal? A Dota mouse. It's yeah, it's Valve. Dota, no, definitely not. 
a storage chunk that that looks a lot like specifically uh, Minecraft. You make it too big and it, the resolution gets a little unbelievable. There we go. Kind of arbitrarily filling some space, but oops, I'm too close to a wall. And you guys are hearing me hit things. You can see the shadow of a butterfly there. So it's like, is that? Oh, there it is. <laughs> ah, too close to my weird shit. All right. All right. Well, I have to know. I have to know. Does the television show things on it? How do I? Here, you just hang out here for now. My hand's getting shaky. There we go. So freeze and thaw or let you keep things around. Clone lets you make an extra copy. Okay, so now. No, I froze you. That means you don't move. Shit. All right, I want to see if I can interact with it. I don't really know how to interact with things necessarily. <laughs> Okay, I pressed down on, instead of uh, you press up to move and down to sort of drag things. I meant to drag it, but I teleported, and that is startling. About to scale. Make ourselves a Rick Sanchez toilet. There we go. It's beautiful. The most beautiful place to shit in all of the world. Do, 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 do. Huh, I forgot you were here, even though you're always here. Well, I kind of conjure you into being in these moments. I love how far away the monocle is. It's kind of great. All right. Social. The first thing that comes up comes up is Rick and Morty, but there's people there, and I don't want to see people, so eh. that's gonna be one of my issues. Oh, I can save a bunch of outfits. They know what to do. All right, environments. Half Life, Alex. Let's take a look. This is on my own. Hello, Infinite Void. How you doing? Half Life, Alex. Finished loading. Wallpapers poking out there. The combine. There's a creepy tower in these games. What's all this say? Perspective so fucked. <laughs> like, oh, I'm doing immersive. Oh god, it's a disaster. I'm, an, I'm doing immersive protesting against the combine occupation, and it's like oh, startlingly close to me. It's all 3D and shit. All right. Well, that was a fun. That was a. Yeah. There we go. But now it's a secret. Oh, it's like a, now it's like neon. Go home, combine. I think they're called the Combine, right? I haven't played Half-Life for a while. I played the I played the orange box on the 360. Oh, you want to go there? Be oh, you can go there. I thought you couldn't. I thought that was like the bounds of the world. There's a leaf falling from somewhere. I can hear a helicopter. But I should stop in the middle of this area to look around. 
and create like a light source. So far, we're so good. No motion, uh, no motion sickness yet, but I, I don't have locomotion on. I don't know if I can turn it on, honestly. Massive peaks. Whoa, the inside of the fucking bottles modeled. I think it's. I think that's the inside modeled. It's hard to say. I mean, it's. A, it would be transparent. <sighs> Nope. Didn't make any sound though, did it? Okay, let's see. Settings. Personal bubble size. Oh, that's good. That means people can't enter your personal space and get too, like, uh, creepy. But no, I wanted settings as in, like, can I turn on, like, walking? Can I, like, walk with a joystick or something? Or is it only teleporting for good? <clears throat> so what are the, what's the point of these things? Are they interaction spots? Can I do something with them? Is it just nice? Yeah, I have to see if I can break the glass, right? You throw like a goil. Wait, where'd you go? Uh. Nope. Oh. Okay, let's just... <laughs> I lost my line of sight. Huh? Wait. Ha. Huh. Nope. Maybe you can't. Nope. <laughs> they make them durable in this world. Creepy weird pipes going everywhere. Oh, I see you. What's that little thing? That's just the glass. I can hear giant footsteps. I imagine it's one of those walkers, right? To fall out, the cigarette falls out. It'll take some practice getting used to letting go via these weird controls. That, I think somebody can push me, can't they? These are like slots, so somebody should be able to like push me around. Can I, are you interactive? I don't know what some of these slots mean. Like that's a physics spot, right? Can I pick up this rock? I touched the floor. <laughs> Not gonna lie, guys, we might have to become a VR channel for a bit. <laughs> Just as I explore shit. Avatars. I thought there was, like, specifically, like, selectable avatars. Oh, wait, it says save the environment. Environments. Oh no, did it- <gasps> I didn't save anything! No! I'll have to recreate it later, it's fine. Ah. Oh. Cloud Wolf is gone forever. I didn't realize that I had to like save it. I thought it- I thought it just was like, this is your home. Fuck around. <laughs> it's like this the natural way to react when you see these little hand things. Let's get outside. There you go, there's the nice color. Things. Tools. Cash finder, airbrush, colorizer, multi-tool. The colorizer. Hmm. 
Hard work. Point. Oh, it's probably the half through the hand that I summoned it with. That makes sense. Oh, it's just every random meme somebody has posted anywhere. Oh, hey, that's cool. Wait, I like that. It's my neighbor. It's my neighbor from Subnautica. There you go. <laughs> it's the, the, the yeah, it's those, those assholes that are the first threat, and then you got really used to them, and you're like, okay, whatever, that's fine. And then they kind of became like a, a fun, familiar face, and you're like, that's cool. I don't really. That's some shit going on here. All right. So now the question is. Let's actually try to verify how to save save this environment. Save all props, yes. There we go. I'll do that next time and we won't lose everything. I recreate things. Tutorials. I've mostly figured this stuff out on my own, I think. Oh, wait, no, use props. Spawn a prop by selecting it from the menu. Use both hands to scale it. Yeah, but how do you use the prop? Nope. When you freeze a prop, it becomes stuck and can't be interacted with until thawed. That didn't seem to happen last time. Uh, I want to know how to like interact with the prop, but maybe they, maybe they never do anything. Maybe they are only just items that sit there. Uh, the quests. Oh, these are the geocaches. Is there one of them at Half-Life Alex? Since I already downloaded that one. Hmm. Not right now. Set as home. Yes. Here's my house. How do you guys like it? Okay, so. Okay, I gotta take a look at Mars though. Chat doesn't exist, probably closed. I'd have to download something new anyway. Alright, well I think this was a decent intro. I think that's enough for now. So. Next up, we're gonna hop into some of these pre- No, let's just do it now, fuck it. That's this episode. Let's get to the meat of this shit. Right after I double check that. We're still recording. What direction am I facing? Oh no, have I been only showing one eye this whole time? No, I'm so sorry everyone, I couldn't see the recording. The recording's been all fucked up with a black bar on the side of the screen for like this entire time. I didn't know that, I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, so I picked out some games to try out VR with for the first time. Oop, I accidentally turned instead of... Okay, so first off, let's, let's start something with something really tame. Let's launch Abduction. Getting a little, like, moist <laughs> inside the mask. Hey, you guys. Load. Pretty, please. This game had really bad load times before, and now I'm going to play it in VR, where it might be worse, actually. Yeah, the more I see it, I don't think I'm happy with the amount of weird fading that happens here. They have to, like, turn off left eye. So maybe one eye is the way to go, but it might look really weird. Ah! Hello. I see the menus in this direction. <laughs> Hello, abduction. Let's load, a, let's load an old save. I don't remember what was happening in that save, but it's just so we don't have to do the intro. Uh, I'm in the floor. Okay, now we're good. Hey! 
Oh, I have a cursor in the middle of my eyes. Oh, that's fucking weird. I keep looking at it like it's uh, it's like a floater. It's like a floater where I want to just chase it around all the time. Oh, I'm moving. Then you rotate. Am I gonna get motion sickness this way? Let's find out. I do have a slight feeling. I do have a slightly weird feeling. Whoa. Hey, buddy. Atris. Your sights out weren't as clear as I needed to be. Now you get that carbon power turned on, will that work on my part here? Thank you. I'm pretty sure I can just straight up see the green screen on him, which is kind of funny. I don't think we have teleporting. I think I have to walk manually. And it is a weird feeling. Like, I I feel a pull on my whole body. I kind of have to spread my legs out and stabilize myself because my senses are telling me I'm moving when I'm not. And it makes me almost kind of feel like I'm going to fall over. This is probably near the end of the game or something. Maybe not, because that beam... Didn't I deal with you early on or something? I don't remember the details anymore. I wouldn't really call it a motion sickness yet, but it's a weird feeling. Though I think this game had a point-and-click mode that you could play to make it feel like an old Myst game. So we go back to that. I don't have hands. Those don't show up in universe. So that's a little weird. What did I just do? Ah, okay. Settings. The graphics are all way the fuck up. Controls. Free, intense, blink, comfortable. Yeah. That could be good. I'm kind of pressing random buttons because I don't know how to control it. Ah. See, now I like, I look at a point. Oh yeah, you can see it. You can teleport to that spot. And the game, yeah. The game, haha, <laughs> railroads you in that there are rails that you should follow. Interesting, because I didn't, I didn't play the game this way. I walked around freely. But they did have teleporting in it from the get-go even before they added VR, which I think they didn't have at first. This isn't perfect. Is there like a better way to... Definitely would prefer to have the cursors you have in, in Steam VR. The, also, the game also looks kind of blurry overall. I'm not entirely sure if that's VR or not. But this is a hell of a trip being here. Yeah, this is too awkward and confusing though. For me to... Putting up with the other controls is probably superior to me. Uh, oh, hello. I'm not entirely sure what button I'm pressing. Shit. I can't, I don't know what buttons to press when I'm in these menus, so I keep fucking up. There we go. Smooth and let's see if I get motion sickness from switching to smooth turning. Ooh. That does feel weird. That's me spinning via the joystick. It feels very weird. Yeah. Not gonna lie, playing this game in VR is kind of a pain because I'm not I'm not experienced, so I have trouble moving at all. And figuring out what I'm supposed to do to move is kind of hard. I think that's enough for now. Let's try Euclidean. This is a game about falling into a Lovecraftian void, so I'm going to be looking down 
and I'm gonna have a sense of motion no matter what I do because it's a game where you fall. So that's probably gonna be terrifying. Ooh, 3D logos. I'm not gonna like this. Oh, I'm not gonna like this. I'm not gonna like this at all. What's up? That's not supposed to do that. Oh. Ah. Uh. Quickly, I must paint. Eh, eh. Quick. We can get rid of it. We can get rid of it, and then it won't kill us. I can pick colors. Ah. Eh. How do I delete it? Oh, I'm painting under the paint. That doesn't make any sense. Is that how I start? Ah! Ah! Are you okay, Sky? Oh, that's not good. I'm not gonna like this, I'm not gonna like this. I've got hands. Uh-oh. Avoid. Phase through moving creatures. Everything here will kill you. Good luck. Oh, I don't like this. This feels like too much like being underwater. It's also having a... This is a bad frame rate. Oh boy. How do I move? Hi. How do I move? Oh, the joystick kind of makes me move. The game's also like having performance problems, which happened the first time around, honestly. Yeah, I very, s I can very slowly control my movement. It's no big deal. Just fall into the void. Nope. Calm down. Go away. Uh oh. Is it coming for me? Oh! It's too close. That's too close. Everything's too close. Did you get me? Oh, there's actually a lot of you around here. This game's so fucking creepy. I don't like it. Eh. Go away. It's enough of that game. <laughs> there's one more I want to try. There we go. I want to see what this one looks like in VR. Hopefully those performance problems aren't going to be a constant problem and I'm not like, hopefully I'm not like in trouble with my PC not being cool enough. And hopefully that's just a, that game having bad optimization, which I wouldn't be that surprised by. You can see the depth of all the dots. Like this one's right here. Oh, you can see how close and far away they all are. That's super good. That's a super cool idea. Ah. Uh, okay, a little fucking low to the ground here, but okay. How do I move? Very far away looking. How do I... That's movement. Oh, do I need you to do anything? Okay, scanner. Ah. Uh... You can. F this is neat.
A little weird looking, the movement. Anything over here? Not necessarily. So my, I'm moving my left hand, kind of. Is this a dead end? I don't remember the layout of this place at all. This might be a path. Oh, this looks really cool in VR. You can see like the other passages behind it and so on. Maybe this is the way I go. <laughs> Nothing has been as deep as this for thousands of years. Oh, I've just started. I was utterly alone. No call for help would ever reach the surface. Right, you're kind of like at the bottom and get coming up in this game, right? My friends all told me I was crazy. My wife couldn't understand my obsession. It's a little weird, the teleporting. But I had to know if the knights were true, the myths were true. Okay, so let's see, can I... One hand. left-handed mode. No, it's the, uh, can I change the movement? It's the entire options menu? There's not a lot of settings. Hmm. I'm not sure if you can change to make it so that you actually smoothly move. So I have to get used to the idea that whatever direction I'm facing is the direction I'm going to move in. I have to like change, I actually have to, have to like rotate my head and kind of my body. Probably going that way. There's a rock in my way. I don't know if I remember being this disoriented the first time around. But I don't immediately see like the way to go forward. Let's see. Is it up here? You know, I keep going not quite the direction I think I'm gonna go. I kinda keep going the direction I was facing. That must be the way forward, right? That way. Oh, I go in the direction my hand is pointing, right? So this little, this little spark thing. That's the thing I need to be doing more actively. I fell down. What's that? Yes, the machines are here. Ah, it's in my face. It's inside my face. I forget. Can I not, can I not pick these up? I don't know if I can grab it. 
It glows, so it's like it's interactive, right? Hmm. Well, I think that's enough of that for now. So if you like the look of any of those games, Abduction, Scanner, Somber, and Euclidean, you can actually watch, watch my playthroughs of those, so you can go check that out elsewhere on my channel. I've already done full playthroughs of all those games. I, just, I specifically... <laughs> I forgot about you. Because we're testing out our play, we're testing out the VR. I wanted to ch test it out on three games that we've played already, and see how that went a little bit. It's gonna take a little bit to get used to this game, but I'm trying, definitely trying. Let's see. Let's test the, let's see how the footage went so far. Mm -hmm.